I just know that there's a future with people like you. Stay lucky, all right? Well, bye-bye. I think next is me. Not only. Don't look sad. The orphan children would laugh at you. You're their big brother, right? Get busy and become a top model for all of them. You'll be great. Hey, not only if you were... We live in the same time period, so I'm sure somewhere we'll meet again. And that's why I won't say goodbye. We'll meet again. It's a promise. Oi, oi, Nanali. She's gone. At the end, it's up to me. Judas, where will you? I do not know. There was never a Judas. In any place and at any time. Maybe I will wander space-time or disappear as Leon Magnus. I won't believe that you're right, Judas. I was prepared for this since I decided to live as Judas. Ever since we met. It was the greatest happiness that an already dead man could ever prove. And I tried. I have no regrets. Judas! I wanted to help, but maybe it was you who actually helped me. Thanks, Kyle. Loney. Judas! Farewell. Uh, well, now it's... Loney! Alright, I'll tell you before I disappearing. Since I failed Mr. Stan, I was always around as the guardian angel. For me, it was an honor, a joy, though I felt at times the weight of that burden. But suddenly, you no longer needed that guardian. Looking for someone to protect, you became a guardian for yourself. It was then. But I wasn't able to be the Prequiala. I wasn't a good guardian for her. No. But you did sit <laughs> You did protect Riala. That was the only way you could save her. And then... Hmm. Only you could do it, Kyle. Only you. We've all been helped by you. I knew you were great. I'm proud of you, little brother. I, I'm proud to have a friend like you, Loni. Thanks. Well, see you, Kyle. Loni. Judas. Nanali. Harold. Thanks to all of you. The future is here. It starts from here. Each of us will build our future from our own forces. But we don't know what will happen. But... But the, the tie that binds us, it won't disappear ever. Ever. Isn't that right, Riala? Ah, what does it mean to be a hero? Lately, I often ask myself. A hero is someone who saves the world? One who helps everyone? 
18 years ago, Dad and the others saved the world, I know. But in this world that's now so peaceful and at peace, there's no real need for a hero. I live to search for that answer. Somewhere, something, someone, is waiting. Huh. I have this hunch. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Ah, what's wrong you, Kyle? The tip of your sword is falling. Are you already tired? Yeah, not again. What? <laughs> there. I did it. Oi. Hey, you okay, Kyle? <laughs> this is my first win, right, Daddy? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay, I give up. Yet another step for you to become a hero. Mm -hmm. No, no, you're wrong. People can't just become heroes themselves. You can't become just because you want it. Right, Dad? Oh. Oh, you're giving in, Kyle. Ah, Moni. Well, the bread... The store never sold. Oh, thank you. You're always helpful. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Ah, bread, bread! What, I hungry? Nunch, nunch! Ah, oh, let's eat! Ah, we're starving. What good bread? Yoni, thank you. Hooray, hooray! Uh, I, I seem to be more liked. <laughs> Who are you to talk? Uh, yeah, I think mom and dad are heroes. Alright, let's hurry up and eat it all. Okay. Well, Loni, when you leave, come and stay with us again. Oh, well, of course. Have some, Kyle. Well, thank you, Loni. See ya. And then, his wife gave a loud cry and threw the whole bag in the floor. He became all white from head to toe. It was too funny. Too funny. <laughs> That's quite typical of Mr. Gazelle. <laughs> Dad, Mom, do you have a minute? I want to talk to you. What is it all of a sudden? You're so serious all of a sudden. I'm very happy. I have you all. Dad, Mom, and the little ones. I live happily every day. And? Knowing this, I want to ask to be kind of selfish, but I want to go on a trip. Just me and my legs in this big world. A journey? What are you talking about? You're too little for these things. That's not true. Mommy, when you're my age, you're already a lens hunter, right? And besides, I've got the blood of my father. And that's what worries me. Anyway, no means no. And if you don't say a thing and just shut up. Oh, and you, don't say a thing and shut up. Stan's like, um. <laughs> it's no use stopping me. In fact, I've already packed up. So if you're against it, I'll still go and that's it. Kylo, you... I'm not gonna let you stop. You should go. Hold a second, Stan. Dad. When this is one condition. On this journey, I want you to find something irreplaceable. Even anything is enough. One irreplaceable thing. 
If you do that, I'll let you go in silence. I see. Thanks, Dad. Now I look like an idiot. You made me seem like a horrible woman. Fine, I agree. If you've decided to stand, I won't oppose. Be careful, Kyle. Thanks, Mom. Hey, Mom, Dad. All of you. I'm going. Oh, you wait. Loni? What? What the heck? You want to go on a trip without telling your best friend? What kind of heartless person are you? I'm sorry. It it's because... You have to make sure you don't make any false moves. I'll always have ever since you were a kid, right? You might have passed with them, but not with me. Huh? Mr. Stan and Ms. Ruti are the only ones who care about you. Well, whatever. You'll see. Come on. Yeah, you're right. How could I leave without you? Loni. Oh, yeah, you finally got it. <laughs> well, let's start to the unknown world. Yeah. Dad says something during the trip. I need to try and find something irreplaceable to me. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I'm sure I'll find it with you, Loni. <laughs>